Hey there, fellow time travelers of the silver screen. Do you remember those golden days when you'd gather around the TV set, the cozy crackling of popcorn in the background, to catch a glimpse of the mesmerizing world of 1,951 seconds ace in the hole? Ah, those were the days, weren't they? It's time to dust off those cherished memories and take a stroll down nostalgia lane. Share with us your favorite moments, the characters who etched themselves into your heart, and the experiences that made watching Ace in the Hole an unforgettable journey. Did you root for Kirk Douglas' unforgettable portrayal of Chuck Tottenham? Or maybe you were captivated by the film's gripping storyline that kept you on the edge of your seat. Let's relive those cinematic moments and celebrate the timeless allure of this classic. After all, who can resist the magic of a vintage gem like Ace in the Hole? But wait, before we dive deeper into the memory lane, how about we sprinkle in some intriguing random facts about the show? Let's unravel the hidden stories, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, and the trivia that will make you appreciate this cinematic masterpiece even more. So, my dear cinephiles, let's embark on this journey together and pay homage to a true classic. Get ready for some delightful surprises, courtesy of Ace in the Hole. Stay tuned for more and let the reminiscing begin. Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder in 1951, is a thought-provoking and darkly satirical film that delves into the sensationalism of media and human desperation. The story follows Chuck Totem, a down-and-out newspaper reporter played by Kirk Douglas, who stumbles upon a trapped miner, Leo Minosa, in a cave-in accident. Seizing the opportunity for a sensational story, Totem manipulates the situation, prolonging the rescue to boost his own career. This gripping narrative exposes the unethical lengths to which media can go for profit and fame. The film's iconic characters include Totem, whose morally ambiguous actions make him a complex anti-hero, and Leo Minosa, the unfortunate miner who becomes a pawn in Totem's exploitative game. Wilder's direction brings out the film's unique style, characterized by its sharp dialogue, cynical humor, and intense performances. Ace in the Hole challenges its audience to confront uncomfortable truths about media ethics and the dark side of human ambition, leaving a lasting impact on popular culture by serving as a cautionary tale for those who wield the power of information irresponsibly. It remains a timeless classic that continues to resonate with viewers, reminding us of the enduring relevance of its themes. In a 1950 memo to Billy Wilder, Kirk Douglas objected to several aspects of Chuck Totem's monologue about missing New York City. No pastrami, no garlic pickles, no Madison Square Garden, no Yogi Berra. Douglas asked, what the hell is a Yogi Berra? Douglas's secretary, who was amused her boss didn't know who the New York Yankee star was, told him he was a catcher. The original shooting location is precisely 2.7 miles east of the Arizona, New Mexico border on State Highway 118, coordinates 352,353, 6N, 1,090,112, 0W, now on private property, the empty cliff niche is plainly visible just 200 yards from the highway. At the time, Paramount constructed the replica cliff dwellings inside the niche at a cost of $30,000. This film's utter and unrelenting cynicism so repulsed 1951 movie audiences that it lost Paramount a fortune. Writer, director Billy Wilder later admitted that it had a negative impact on his career, while also citing it as one of the best films he ever made. In 1951, the movie Ace and the Hole hit the screens with high hopes but landed in a pit of disappointment. Directed by Billy Wilder, the film didn't receive favorable reviews and ended up losing money for the studio. To salvage the situation, the studio decided to change the film's title to The Big Carnival without Wilder's consent, hoping for a better box office outcome. However, this move didn't succeed, and the film continued to struggle financially. Adding to Wilder's woes, his next project, Stalag 17, turned out to be a hit. Naturally, he expected a share of the profits. However, Paramount's accountants had a different plan. They informed Wilder that the losses incurred by Ace in the Hole would be subtracted from the profits of Stalag 17, leaving him with a less substantial payday than he had hoped for. It's worth noting that the film's troubled financial history didn't deter Billy Wilder as he went on to have a successful career in Hollywood. Despite its initial setbacks, Ace in the Hole has since gained recognition as a dark 
and thought-provoking film that explores the sensationalism of media and human nature's darker side. On a lighter note, an interesting tidbit about the film is that the famous line, I don't go to church, kneeling bags my nylons, was coined by Billy Wilder's wife, Audrey Young adding a touch of humor to a movie with a rather grim narrative. Additionally, a small but noteworthy detail in the film is the canvas desert water bag that hangs on the front grill of the car driven by Totem and Herbie. These bags were a common sight in desert travel in the days before coolers became widely available. They served the dual purpose of cooling water through evaporation and providing a source of hydration. This detail adds a touch of authenticity to the film's portrayal of the harsh desert environment. In conclusion, Ace in the Hole may not have been an immediate success, but it left a lasting impact on cinema, showcasing Billy Wilder's unique storytelling style and his ability to tackle complex themes. Despite its financial struggles, the film has found its place in cinematic history. In 1951, director Billy Wilder brought a controversial and thought-provoking film to the silver screen, titled Ace in the Hole. While this movie is remembered for its biting commentary on sensationalism and media ethics, it also found itself embroiled in a legal battle before its release. Actor Victor Disney filed a lawsuit against the film during its scriptwriting phase. Disney asserted that Ace in the Hole was an unauthorized adaptation of the Floyd Collins story, a real-life incident where a man was trapped in a cave. Disney held the rights to the Collins story and alleged copyright infringement. A legal battle ended with Disney's victory, upheld by the California Supreme Court in the case of Disney v. Wilder. Although Wilder initially appealed, his attorneys eventually settled the matter by paying Disney a sum of $14,350. Interestingly, Ace in the Hole marked the second time Wilder featured a character working for the fictitious Pacific All Risk Insurance Company. The first instance was in his 1944 film, Double Indemnity. Moreover, the original shooting location of Ace in the Hole lies 2.7 miles east of the Arizona, New Mexico border on State Highway 118, formerly known as Route 66. The precise coordinates are 352,353, 6N, 1,090,112, 0W. Today, the site is on private property, but the cliff niche, which played a prominent role in the film, remains visible just 200 yards from the highway. Paramount Pictures spent $30,000 to construct replica cliff dwellings within this niche for the movie's production. In summary, Ace in the Hole not only stirred controversy through its content, but also faced legal challenges during its creation. It remains a significant work in Billy Wilder's filmography, known for its social commentary and a link to another of his iconic films, Double Indemnity. The 1951 movie Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder, had a working title of the human interest story. This film is the second work by Billy Wilder to feature a character employed at the fictitious Pacific All Risk Insurance Company, the first being Double Indemnity in 1944. Ace in the Hole tells the gripping story of a cynical reporter who exploits a trapped miner's predicament to boost his career. The film delves into the dark side of sensational journalism and the lengths some would go to for a story. The working title, The Human Interest Story, underscores the film's focus on the sensationalism that drives the media's pursuit of human tragedy. This theme is central to the movie's message. In addition, the appearance of the Pacific All Risk Insurance Company in this film and in Double Indemnity connects these two Wilder films thematically, highlighting insurance and risk as recurring motifs in his work. Ace in the Hole remains a thought-provoking film that offers a critical look at the media's ethics and the allure of sensationalism in journalism. It stands as a testament to Billy Wilder's storytelling prowess. Lost Identity, the struggle of Ace in the Hole's cast member to maintain authenticity amidst depression in the early 1950s. Hollywood was a glamorous yet unforgiving place, and the cast of the 1951 movie Ace in the Hole was not immune to its pressures. Among them, one cast member faced a unique and profound struggle the battle to maintain authenticity in the face of personal depression. Depression, a condition often concealed behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden era, took a toll on this cast member's sense of self. 
As the spotlight shone brightly on their career, the darkness of depression loomed in the shadows. The pressures of fame and constant scrutiny made it challenging for this individual to reconcile their public persona with their private struggles. They grappled with the fear that revealing their true emotions would tarnish their image and career prospects. As time passed, maintaining authenticity became an ever more daunting task. Depression, often exacerbated by the cutthroat nature of the industry, eroded their self-esteem and sense of identity. It became a daily battle to put on a facade, to be the person the world expected them to be. Despite these inner struggles, this cast member continued to deliver remarkable performances, including their role in Ace in the Hole. Their dedication to their craft was unwavering, even as they fought their own personal demons behind the scenes. In the end, the story of this cast member serves as a poignant reminder that the glitz and glamour of Hollywood can mask the profound personal challenges faced by those who inhabit it. The struggle to maintain authenticity amidst depression is a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit, even in the most unforgiving of environments. In the annals of Hollywood history, this cast member's story is a somber but important chapter, shedding light on the hidden battles fought by many in the entertainment industry during that era. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Ace in the Hole, it's time to pause and reflect on the indelible imprint it may have left on your cinematic soul. Billy Wilder's masterpiece, born of an era long past, continues to resonate with the timeless allure of human nature laid bare. Perhaps you were entranced by the enigmatic charm of Kirk Douglas as Chuck Tottenham, a morally dubious journalist with an insatiable thirst for notoriety. Or maybe it was the film's unflinching exploration of media sensationalism and the dark underbelly of human desperation that struck a chord within you. In the dimly lit theaters of yesteryears or on the glowing screens of today, Ace in the Hole has the power to provoke, challenge, and stir emotions that transcend time and place. It's a reflection of our fascination with the intersection of ambition, ethics, and the relentless pursuit of truth, often at the expense of others. Now, it's your turn to share. What memories or thoughts does Ace in the Hole evoke in you? Did it offer you a fresh perspective on the media's role in shaping public perception, or did it simply leave you in awe of its cinematic prowess? We invite you to engage in this conversation, to deepen your connection with this cinematic gem, and to discover the unique lens through which it has shaped your understanding of the world. Your reflections, your insights, they are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of film discourse. Thank you for taking this journey through time and storytelling with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your thoughts are a testament to the enduring legacy of Ace in the Hole.